Welcome to the course Object Oriented Programming through Java. This is Dr. Sachitirthi, working as Associate Professor in Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering, Autonomous, Shakhpatna. And in this video, I'm going to discuss about the overview of the course. These are the topics that will be discussed under this course. The data types, variables and operators in Java. The data types, or we have the different data types in Java, in, like int, float, double to handle the numerical data and string for handling the character data and boolean for handling the true or false kind of data. And the purpose of the variable is to, to store some values and what are the, how to declare the variables and what are the rules that we need to follow the, for defining the variables that we'll discuss under the variables. Coming to the operators, operators are used to perform operations between the operands. There are the different type of operators are there, like arithmetic operators, bitwise operators, relational operators, logical operators, assignment operators, increment and decrement operators, and all those will be discussed in the further classes with examples. And coming to the control statement, to change the flow of execution of the program, we need to have the control statements. There are the different control statements are there, like if statement, if else statement, nested if statement, switch statement, and coming to the loops. And the loops purpose is to repeatedly execute some set of statements. There are different loops like while loop, do while loop, for loop. Java provides a special type of for loop called for each loop. And along with that, we do have the break statement and continue statement. And classes. Classes is a blueprint or a template for creating an object. And one of the object oriented feature called data encapsulation that can be achieved in Java by creating the classes. Object, all the object oriented programming languages revolving around the objects. And object is an instance of the class. Coming to the constructors and methods, uh, method is a function which is used to perform a task and the class is consisting of variables and methods. Constructor is a one special method which is used to perform initialization of the instance variables present in the class. The class is a special method whose name is same as the class name. Arrays and the purpose of the array is to store the multiple values in a single variable and we have the different type of arrays like one dimensional arrays, two dimensional arrays, multi dimensional arrays. And we can perform the operations like searching operation and sorting operation on the arrays. And it is also possible to declare the arrays of the variable length. Java provides such feature. Inheritance. Inheritance is the acquiring the features of the existing class into the another class without redefining that. The main purpose of inheritance is to reusability. There are the different type of inheritances are there like single inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, a hybrid inheritance, hierarchical inheritance. Tab interfaces. Interfaces also similar to the classes, but the only difference is the classes have the methods which are implemented, whereas interfaces, the methods are not implemented. And those methods are called as a abstract methods. And a class which consisting of at least one abstract method is called as a abstract classes. Packages, similar to the header files in C language, we do have packages concept in Java language. And the purpose of the package is to grouping the classes and methods together and Java provides the two types of packages. One is built-in packages. Within the built-in packages, all the classes, predefined classes and methods are available. Some of the built-in packages are long package, IO package and util package. According to the our requirement, we can create our own uh, classes, our own packages. Those are called as a uh, user-defined packages or custom packages. Java provides a, a keyword called as a package, which is used to create our own packages. 
exception handling mechanism. Exception is a runtime error which is used to handle the errors at the time of the execution of the program. Generally, if you are not handling the exceptions, it will be causing a problem. Java provides built-in mechanism to handle the exceptions by using the five keywords, try, catch, throw, throws, and finally. By using that, we'll be able to handle the exceptions. Everything in Java language is in the form of a class. All the built-in exceptions are handled by the JVM itself. String is a sequence of characters in Java and there are some predefined methods are available in the string class like finding out the length of the string, uh, concatenation of the two strings, converting the lowercase letters into the uppercase and uppercase to the lowercase and if you want to find out a character if you are given a particular index or finding out the index of a particular character within the string like that there are so many three defined methods are available. By using that, we'll be able to perform the operations on the strings. So these are all the topics that we are going to cover in our course. I hope you people will enjoy this learning in the further classes. Thank you.